Check for original lager. This is going to be interesting. It's a mini cake that holds up to 5 liters of beer with a price tag of $25 Canadian. It's your regular 5 percenter. Imported from Czech Republic. I was looking for something good and this popped out on the search engine, so why not give it a try? Mini kegs are the way to go if you don't have much money. It's cheaper than buying a 12 pack of Heine, trust me. The one thing about kegs is that you have to leave it in the fridge for a maximum of 12 hours. I mean, you could leave it in there for 4. Just blast the fridge to the coldest setting and leave it at the very bottom of the fridge. Instructions. Turn tap in the direction of arrow to horizontal position. Two, they couldn't put the sticker somewhere else, but the image speaks for itself. Three, press red button to dispense. Four, slowly turn air release when beer flow diminishes. Turning the tap was kind of tough, not gonna lie. It's such a small instrument to get your fingers on. Pulling the lever was quite easy. It just slides out like butter. Just like any mini keg, just expect it to foam out. Your first and your second cup will be like this. In this case, it was a cup and a half which is not bad. It disperses out finally after that, so no need to worry. I have to say, this beer smells really good. A little malty with fruity notes. I had to dive in, I couldn't wait for the foam to settle. It's a very smooth lager, surprisingly delicious. It's grainy, fruity, malty, crisp, with a touch of hops in the back end, a medium body with a creamy mouthfeel. I didn't expect the lager to be this good. It's super rich. This could possibly be the best lager I ever drank in my opinion. I can never look down on European brews, they hold up a good reputation when it comes to brewing, never disappoint. When I say creamy, look at the head, it speaks for itself. There is absolutely nothing to complain about. It's a good beer with a decent price tag. I would definitely buy this again if I'm in the mood to get smashed. This is where the true test begins. I want to test how long would this keg last before it goes bad. So I'm planning to drink this for a maximum of three days. The first session was good. I had three in a tummy. The quality was amazing and I could drink more, but I didn't want to overdo it, especially on a Thursday, knowing I got to work the next day. Now, let's move on to day two and see the difference. It's a Friday, the perfect time to drink once all your duties are done for the week. I'll be live streaming, so another perfect time to get smashed with a keg. There is a reasonable amount of liquid inside. The one problem I had on day two was the tap. It was really hard to yank it out. I had to get a knife to give me that leverage. I wouldn't recommend pushing it back in when you're done with it, just leave it sticking out. The foam barrier is already broken and the brew pours out kindly with a decent head. The taste is a bit off. It's no longer as fresh as the first time, but still tastes amazing. Slight change, but still good. Uh, I can't remember how much I went through that night, probably a lot. When I woke up the next day, there was a quarter left. I poured some out on day three. It was just bad after that, and I didn't want to drink it. It came out flat, no carbonation. I would recommend to drink this within one day, not alone with people. If you're doing it alone, two days is the maximum based on my experience. Nothing beats the first day. I would rate this mini keg four and a half stars out of five. It deserves it. It's cheap and delicious, and you can't go wrong with it. Until next time, guys, take care.